in this one-man show, you're going to talk, as you said, uh, about a lot of personal stuff. Uh, very famously, in the 1980s, you were uh, married to Robin Givens. Yes, and yeah. you are going to talk about the fact, and this is something I did not know, that after your divorce, you guys were still somewhat involved. Well, I don't know. We were just, you know I mean? Um, yeah, during our crazy marriage. <laughs> right. Where, you know, I'm saying, you're a thief, you're a gold digger, and you're a abuser, you beat me up. But I don't know. I was just a young kid, and I... I miss my wife, and so I know. So even after you were divorced, you would sometimes yes. go over to her house. <laughs> yes. That's okay. That's fine. Yes. That's yes. your. Now yes. uh, you, you tell a story about uh, what you used to drive over there at night, and and. No, no. This is the morning rump, you know, and um. <laughs> I go to the house. I ring the buzzer. No one's there. I go back to my car. Mm -hmm. Okay, they might be working, and as I go to my car, she drives up. Oh right, it's going to happen. It's going down. She drives up with the handsome Brad Pitt. I said, oh, man, I ain't gonna get no pussy f <laughs> Brad Pitt is the international symbol for that. Yeah. <laughs> Brad Pitt sees you. He he's got to he's got to be scared because yeah. she's pulling up with your ex-wife at her house and you're sitting there in a car. I was just um, emotionally comatose because I went from a heart I went from a heart stallion to a wet noodle and it just totally overwhelmed me. You know? <laughs> it totally. I, I had no energy to fight or anything. Yeah, yeah. I just this is <laughs> finally a story I can relate to. <laughs> 